Hello again and uh, let's look at yet another example. This one finally is a little bit more tricky especially if you're not going to use a calculator. So what we find here is that uh, and we're not allowed to use a calculator by the way um, what we're supposed to do um, is find the exact value for the following expression and in this expression we can see we've got log base 2 with answer 18 or input 18 so what exponent can I give 2 to get an answer of 18? Well, there is an exponent, but I don't know what it is. It's definitely not an integer answer. How about 2 to get 144? Well, I ha know how to get 128, and uh, other than that, I don't. So this is also going to be an irrational answer number, probably. This one here, 2 to get 3, no, no ways, I have no idea. So what we are going to do is first just simplify this to a single logarithm and see maybe then we have a uh, value that we can express. Before we can do that, uh, or what I, what I can do is I can multiply these two and then I can divide with this one, but the problem is before I can, can subtract this logarithm, I first have to make its coefficient the exponent of the interior. So I'm just going to do it in this step. I'm just going to scratch it out and make that 3 to the power of 4. That's one of my laws. I'm allowed to do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and make this log 2. And now I'm going to multiply 18 and 144. Okay, let me first write them in terms of prime factors. This is 2 times 9, which is 3 squared. This is 12 squared. And 12 is... Uh, 12 squared 12 is 2 times 2 times 3 okay so 12 squared is 2 squared 2 squared 3 squared and this is 3 to the power of 4 so let's use all of this so I'm going to have 2 times 3 squared that's the 18 and the 18 is going to multiply the 144 because they're being added together. Both of them are positive. So this and 144 can be written as 2 squared times 2 squared times 3 squared. Okay, divided by, and now this one is just 3 to the power of 4. You might ask, why did you do it in primes? Well, I don't want to use a calculator, so I am going to do it all my head. And here you can see, aha, uh -huh, um, in the numerator, I ha only have uh, factors. So there's no uh, single terms. So that means I'm, I can cancel common factors. So there's how many threes in the numerator? Factors, two here and two there. So there's four and four in the denominator. So they will all completely cancel. And I will simply be left with log and in the numerator, I still have my base of 2, I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll have 2 to the power of 5. Now I can even see, well, this is even so easy because now the 5 can become, the uh, the 5 exponent can become the coefficient. So this is log 2, 2. And once I get to this point, I know, well, 2 to the power of what gives me 2? Two? 2 to the power of 1. So. Um, I, I just like to simplify to same base, same interior, because then I know it just becomes 1. So it's 5 times 1, which is just 5. Isn't that beautiful how this expression is actually equal to 5? I love it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this example. Uh, see you in the next video.